So since you've been working as a um, in the creative space for so long, um, if uh, if you if one of your first uh, kind of like uh, uh, first meeting with the with, with the with the job market or uh, with the companies that you worked for were in two thousand and one was was it that? <laughs> yeah, it was a, it was a while back. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I didn't mean to. No, 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 no. It's 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 public knowledge. <laughs> yeah. I'm not I'm not hiding anything. Um, yeah, you're right. Like I I came out of school. I'm not formally trained in design. I did not go to art school. I I didn't have uh, any sort of formal design education. Um, my, me personally, and this is just my story. I've never been a fan of professional education. Yeah. At least not for what I do. Um, I went through the entire process. I went to college. I, I attained a graduate degree um, but for me school especially the formal part of it was always meant to be figuring out who I am and what I want to do um, and I didn't learn that in school hmm. I learned what I did not want to do um, but it was really only when I started working and I started understanding uh, things sort of clicked into place and I would remember you know growing up and uh, tearing out like uh, photo spreads from magazines or you know print ads uh, and then putting them on my wall like they were uh, you know almost like posters of musicians or actors um, but I never really understood why I did that mm. um, I liked art I liked design I liked a lot of things in the humanities literature music etc but I didn't know how to put it all together mm. um, and when you're younger I think you're sort of forced into thinking uh, you should really go in one direction Mm. Um, and that you like writing, work as an editor or a writer. You like music, go be a musician, right? Mm. Um, I wasn't really aware of a profession that would sort of allow me to take all of the things that I like um, and then apply them and, and do meaningful work, you know, yeah. for other people, not just like for myself. Um, yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so um, I think it's a really interesting point that you uh, make around uh, the in, in terms of school, mm -hmm. because um, uh, some of the most uh, creative people uh, uh, I know and uh, some of the best people I know they they haven't gone to school, uh, at least on higher education, and uh, and. Um, I'm not sure if I see it as a trend in the uh, in the creative industry, but um, but one of the more fascinating things is that um, in in the work that you do around content production, uh, design principles, uh, development, um, branding, and and all the stuff that you're doing, um, our take is that the uh, curriculum in schools they are they get outdated so fast mm -hmm. that's right what what's your take on that yeah it's it's really tricky because as i mentioned you know the design industry is evolving so quickly uh and sort of what's in vogue you know today is probably a, a new concept or at least a new iteration of a previous concept mm. that was in vogue maybe 12 24 months ago yeah uh and so a lot of professional educators a lot of educational institutions are having a hard time keeping up with it um Honestly, if you want to become a creative professional, whether you want to freelance or you want to go in-house or you want to work at an agency, your best experience, really, your best educational experience is life. Um, if I get asked a question, and sometimes it happens, where they'll say, what's the one piece of advice you could give mm -hmm. to like somebody starting out or somebody who wants to do design or be creative... The, if I had to pick one piece of advice, it's just to always keep your eyes open and look around, pay attention to things, ask questions. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be related to graphic design or uh, a particular discipline of design. Everything's, you know, connected. Um, so it's, you know, the lines on the microphone casing, you know, to the smell of a boutique when you enter it. Uh, to the the design of the packaging of a bags, you know, at a restaurant, etc. Uh, all of that's interconnected. And if you look around and you start thinking to yourself and asking yourself, why did they choose those colors? What do those colors mean? How are, do they make me feel? Um, you know, what sort of emotions do I feel entering space? Mm. Um, you know, when I touch an object, 
let's say, uh, you know, an iPhone or anything Apple typically produces, you know, what sort of qualities, physical qualities are there? And then how is that registering in my brain and in my heart? Mm -hmm. And you kind of start to learn uh, the vernacular of all the disciplines. And it's tricky because you're not learning them formally. And so you're missing out on a lot of technicalities, specific terms, etc. But if you're savvy enough and you're curious enough, you can be pretty good at what you do just from observation and, and asking questions. Mm. Absolutely. So 